Hi and welcome to the Excel Pro contact form with recapture and fully customizable fields. So first of all how does it work? Well you need to first of all add the extension to your Mobirize. So to do that you go to extensions, import, browse to where you downloaded the extension. find the extension and click open you'll get the panel to say that it's been added and then you'll see it's been added to your extensions Okay, so then you go to the page where you want to put your contact form on. So for the Pro one, we're going to go here. You click Start and Extensions. Browse down to Forms. And you will see the extension here. So drag that onto your page. Okay, so now you can edit the form as you would normally in Mobiurize. So first of all, we'll add a background image you don't have to do that but you can do that so let's add a background image let's pick that one okay and we'll make it uh, parallax and we'll give it just no top padding and just a little bottom padding okay so then you'll want to change the color of the text there so we're going to change that to white and we're going to center it and the text here too we'll change that to white and center that as well okay so now we have the basis of our form this text of course is editable as required ok so this text here we want that to be white as well so let's make that white ok so there's our form with every field on it now, as you'll see you've got lots of different fields that you can select but you must uh, on the form have the name field the email field the phone field and the message comments any other field you can remove so let's go to the settings and we'll see how we do that so first of all you can hide the title or the text um, here you enter your public Google recapture key um, so you just simply paste that that's, that's the public key in there then you enter where you want to send your emails to so or your form submissions so we'll enter an email address there now if you want to send it to more than one email address you can so if you want to send it to your main email address and your support email address or your partner's email address or whatever the case may be then you just simply add a comma and the other email address okay so then we've got two email addresses that will be that will receive the email now if you want to send a copy to the person who is submitting the form then you will click that one on or if you don't want to then you will click it off then you enter the name of your site which will appear in the email so the message from and so on so let's uh, put that okay now although the phone field has to be on the form you can make it required or not required 
if you don't want it to be filled in, you know, it doesn't have to be filled in, then you just un, uh, undo that button there and that will no longer be required. That will appear on the form but they don't have to fill it in. Then if you want the subject field, then you click that and if it's to be a required field, then you, again you have the button underneath. That can be on the form but not required or it can be not on the form at all. And as you see, when you take it off the field form, it disappears from the list. There it is there. Okay, then if you want the mobile cell field, again you can make that required or not required. Address line 1, address line 2, and you can make address line 1 required and address line 2 not required. Then the city town field. Uh, the county state field again you can make all of these required if request if required uh, country field postcode and again uh, if required show the company field if you wish and whether it's required or not show the gender field if required if that one's on the form then uh, one of the three buttons must be pressed so we're going to say we don't want that one uh, if you want the website URL and whether it's required or not, again, whether you want the Facebook URL and whether it's required and the LinkedIn URL and whether you want to show the accept terms and conditions. Okay, so now we've got all the fields we want on our form. So we just simply publish it. Um, and when you publish your form, it will automatically add all the necessary script files, that's the PHP script files, the JavaScript files, and everything else to the page. And it will also um, add them to the assets folder in a special folder. So that's that. Um, the and our form is now almost ready to go. There's just one further step and that's to add the secret key for the um, Google recapture. So let's publish our site and then we'll look at what else we need. Okay, so we've published a site now to our host. So one thing we now need to do is to add the secret key for Google recapture. You will have received two keys from Google, a public key and a secret key. We've already added the public key um, within Mobilize in the uh, panel. So in your package you'll see a file called secret PHP. You just need to edit that in a text editor such as Notepad or Notepad++ and you'll see there's a section there that says enter the secret key here. So you just paste your Google secret key uh, over that text there between the two quote marks then save the file and then you will need to publish that file to your folder on your website uh, or upload that I should say um, to the assets folder and you'll see a file a folder called plugin RS plugins uh, RC Excel Pro so, and in that folder you will see a mail res RX RC Excel Pro folder and in that folder is where you public you you uh, upload your secret key to don't remove the file that's already there just upload the secret key to there so now our fo file is already or our contact form now is all ready to roll. So if we go to our browser and we have one we prepared earlier. So let's go to
okay. So there's one we prepared earlier. Now you'll see that um, there's a script that's been added to the page that any required field will get a stronger border around it. Fields that are not required will not have the stronger border. So like the phone is not required and the website URL is not required. Okay, so we then just simply fill in our form. We don't need to fill in that address and we don't need to fill in address line 2. company name and our message okay so there's our message we can fill in the URL if required and we must accept the site terms. If we don't accept the site terms we'll get a message to say that we must accept them. Okay and then we if we don't click the uh, recapture we'll get a message to say the recapture is incorrect so let's click the recapture and try again and the message has been sent. Now if you, you'll remember we asked it to be sent to two different email addresses and we also asked it to send a copy to the submitter of the form. So we'll have a look now and we'll see if messages have arrived. So we have uh, the first message there, which was to the main email address, and it says you have received a new message. Here are the details, and in the subject line you'll see it says web site contact and it gives you the person who sent it and the two email addresses it was sent to. This is the message. We didn't fill in a phone number. We didn't fill in an address too. So the address is there, company name, the website URL, their IP address and from what form uh, pay the email come from. So. So that's been received and you'll see the second email address that we send it to has also received the email. Um, the other one hasn't come yet but there should be one that went to the person that sent it. Let's just try again. There it is. So, so the person that submitted the form get one with the subject line that says copy of your submission to and you remember we put the name of the site as Rickersoft Hosting and you submit a data to Rickersoft Hosting on the website contact form here are the details you submitted and that gives them then a copy of what they submitted and then at the bottom it says thank you for your submission from the team at Rickersoft Hosting okay so that's how it works and it's nice and easy to set up and nice and easy to use. I hope you find it useful. Have fun and enjoy. It's amazing.